Hey, remember Castlevania? Yeah, Netflix made a miniseries out of sort of something. And I just watched it. So Castlevania the series. It's an anime. And I don't remember itch. Yes. I don't remember Castlevania. I'm going to be upfront about that. I don't remember Castlevania at all. I don't know if I ever played that game. I think I may have watched somebody play that game. I remember having an argument about why do the axes give bonus damage to trees? That might have been Castlevania. And the guy goes, well, you know, you chop chop wood with an axe. And I say, oh yeah, let's do an experiment. I'm going to hit a tree ten times with an axe and see what happens. Then we're going to hit you ten times with an axe and see where the bonus happens. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not a video game nerd. But I saw Castlevania, and, and the story is thus... This chick decides she wants to be a doctor, so she goes and boogies with Dracula. Kind of weak premise there. The whole, want to be a doctor, so boogie with Dracula, but that's where it is. She boogies with Dracula, becomes his wife, becomes a doctor, and is burnt as a heretic by the Catholic Church. Dracula unleashes horde of monsters onto the world, and calamity ensues. Oh, okay, here's the thing, if you're a fun, a fun, if you're a fan, rather, of ultra-violent anime with no boobs, this is the, the thing for you, provided you can deal with the fact that it is extremely anti-Christian, anti-Catholic. There is actually a scene where the hero of the story throws an axe and knocks down a cross, uh, priests get slaughtered, but they all deserve to die. It's really, really anti-Catholic. And I mean, I'm not going to say I'm a fan of the Catholics. I'm, I'm a fan of the joke, you know, oh, yes, there are things that can't be answered by Google, Mr. Religious Person, but, you know, Google doesn't molest my children, and it pays taxes. So, they're both evil religions, in my opinion, Google and Catholicism, but I'm not really willing to start killing anyone over either. So that's my thing. But, you know, look, one of the most memorable scenes to me was this one where this chick wakes up. Like, she's not a character. She's just there. She wakes up, and her husband's dead next to her, and she runs over to the baby carriage, or the baby uh, crib, and there's just blood stains. And you're like, wow, this is ultra-violent. This should not be R-rated. It should be NC-17. It's that level of violence. I mean, there's blood splurting everywhere. Really anime-esque feels like that kind of thing. And you're like, okay, well, does the story intrigue me? Nah. I mean, I'm not going to say it was terrible, it was okay, it was a short but length of a movie, I think it's like four 22-minute episodes, but again, Castlevania, if you're into the video game and you're into blood, guts, and gore, probably go see this. If you're not into the video game and you don't want to see blood, guts, and gore, definitely give it a pass. This is for horror movie fans only who like sort of torture porn and ultra-violent anime, alright? That's my opinion. I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. I'm Richard.